Okay, so you are stuck trying to fix your alignment. It probably cost like what 60, 70 bucks or so to get an, an alignment fixed. Well, I was I wasn't willing to pay that much, so I kind of looked through the options and watched a bunch of videos and finally I got a became a pro at it. Um so basically, it's pretty simple, guys. Like, you really don't need a lot of tools or anything. For me, all the tool that I need is this. Um, I'm not a, an English first language speaker, so I have no clue what you call this, but probably a wrench or something. Um, so we'll find something, something like this, and um, let's get started. So I had to replace, I had to put a new tire on my car, or two new tires, because just bad things kept happening, like, every time I'd be on the highway, like, my tires would fall off and stuff, but anyway, that's not the point, so, what's the point, well, you're usually driving, you know, going straight, but your wheel kind of looks crooked, like that, you know, kind of to the side and stuff, so basically, it's three, three steps, I guess, I don't know, I'm not quite sure, but Okay, so you got your wrench or your thingy here and make sure you have something to lay on. I, I mean, it's not really a need for uh, um, something to lay on, but um, I'm kind of, uh, I like my, my, my back smooth, so I don't want to, I don't want to hurt my back. So you jack your car up, see how I got the, uh, the stands? And the jack and other stand, you definitely need the stands, man, because, you know, people have gone underneath their cars with other stands and just the, uh, this dude right here, the jack would fail and, uh, yeah, they'll get crushed. So you, you definitely want to put in some stands there. And, uh, yeah. Okay, so once you, once you jack up your car, uh, it, dep it depends if, whether you are in the, uh, if you're trying to fix the, uh, right side or left side um i don't know i don't think i don't think it actually matters but anyway so once you get underneath your car you have all this nonsense stuff i don't know if you're a car person or not personally i'm not, I'm not a car person i don't know I, I do not know a lot of things about cars but hey i know this so you got you got the tire you got the i don't know brake pad no not brake pad um disc brake thingy this is why the brakes um, pinch so your car can stop. Um, and you have this uh, this dude right here. Um, this is actually the outer tie rod end, okay? So it comes from, you know, all the way in there, you know, and it goes brrr, boop, to the wheel, and basically just, it's what makes your car turn, I mean, your wheel turn. Okay, so what you need to do, you're just gonna, you follow the uh, the inner, I mean the outer tie right end of this thing until you reach this bolt, okay? Now the best way to do it, the safest way to do it, safest way to do it, is to do some measurements, you know? So you can know where you left, the, I mean, you know, where your alignment was before you messed it up. So if your wheel, if your wheel is tilted to the, to the left, okay, to the left, you want to unloosen, you know, you want to loosen up this, um, this nut here, which I already did. So you loosen it up, okay, make sure you mark where it was, you know, just in case things go wrong. But you loosen this up, okay, and then you grab this dude, this ranch dude, or whatever you call him. And, uh, you, what you do is usually... These guys right here, oh, let me put some lighting there, there you go. Usually these guys, um, the, the inner inner tie right end comes with some markings. That is to help you do your alignment, okay? So if your wheel is tilted to the left, you loosen up this guy and you turn the inner tie right in and that way so it can go in. You will see it as you turn it this this bolt right here should get closer and closer to the uh, um, to the outer tie rod end. So, as I'm trying to do this with one hand, I don't think it's gonna work that well, but let me uh, give it a try here. There you go. Let's 
like tighten that over there. Oh no. Oh that is not gonna work well. Let's see. Let's wait. Tighten that real good. Okay. And then I'll Nope. Didn't work. Anyway. So that is really all you do. You don't have to pay a thing at all. So once you get that, you just tighten it until you feel like okay, um, this is this is right. So you tighten it and then you tighten this back. Make sure this is really tight. And then take off um these two haters. Um the, the jack stands and the uh, uh um you know that ugly dude right there in the middle. Um so you take those off, you go for drive and see how uh if it's still slightly to the left, you come in, you unloosen this again, okay, you unloosen this again, and then you twist this a little more in, you know, um twist it that way. So you keep doing that until you hit the sweet spot. Alright, now I'm gonna uh that's the video for the day, I guess. You know, I don't wanna I gotta do mine with two hands. I can't really do it with one hand. So um, I mean, it's not like you know I'm weak or anything like that. I'm actually I'm actually a hardcore dude. But anyway, so by the way, this is uh, a 99. It's a 99 Ford Taurus. Um, it's got a lot of trouble. As I said earlier, I. Um, the tires fell off the highway, the highway, qu highway quite a few times. Um, but if you come to the other side, on the, the other side of the tire, you know, you have um, the same thing here. You know, you still have that uh, this outer outer tire right end here. You know, you can adjust on either either side. And listen, this if you if your steering wheel is turned to the right you unloosen this and uh, you turn this the other way you know like counterclockwise or something so yeah got a question hit me up put in the comments um i'm not doing this for sub sub subscribing reasons i'm not i'm not a really i'm not really a car person but um that my friend it is my advice to you okay sweet